Hi, I'm Meg. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos while you're here. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. I've lost 80 pounds on a plant-based diet and I love to share what I've learned along the way. In today's video, I wanted to share what I eat in a day, Mary's Mini Challenge Edition. I'm hosting a Mary's Mini Challenge from October 1st until October 7th, and I'll leave my Mary's Mini playlist here so you can take a look at my previous videos. Feel free to join in on the challenge anytime. There are only a couple days left in the challenge when this video is coming out, but feel free to join in anytime, get started whenever you like, and uh, use these videos as inspiration to get started on your own Mary's Mini Challenge or just for recipe ideas and getting started or continuing with your plant-based diet or just eating more plant-based meals. I'm so excited to share a couple of new recipes today, including my hash brown recipe and a modified old recipe that I have on the channel and on my website, which is my lazy vegan curry. And I've adapted it to be Mary's mini friendly and jazzed it up a little bit and switched it up. So I'm really excited to share those recipes. I also share some leftovers that were included in my batch cooking video and I'll also share my husband's meals for the day and my son's meals for the day, just so you guys can see how I've put together their meals that are not following the Mary's Mini Challenge. So they're eating, you know, beans and whole grains and bread and more fruit than I am. So I will include um, their meals as well. I won't include their snacks and things like that, but they are eating, you know, fruit and other things that aren't really part of uh, the challenge. So I'll have information about that along the way throughout the video too, in case you want to see that. I thought that sharing my husband and my son's meals alongside mine would be helpful so that you can see how you can adapt if you're doing a Mary's mini challenge and your family is not, or if you're done with the challenge and you wanna incorporate other foods into back into your meal plan and you wanna incorporate you know, beans and whole grains and things, I'll show you how to do that as well. If you like this video and you like what I eat in a day content in general, let me know and also give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel below if you haven't already. It really helps me out, completely free, no strings attached. And with all that out of the way, let's jump right into the what I eat in a day. I'm going to start my day with hash browns. So I've scrubbed these potatoes and chopped off any bits that were looking a little wonky and I've set up my griddler here. This is the nonstick Cuisinart griddler, and it works really well without any oil. Absolutely love it. Setting it to the grill panini setting and setting it between the high and sear temperature setting. I'm gonna go ahead and grate my potatoes. I did try to find shredded hash browns in the shops and I was unable to find them. So I'm just using my raw potatoes and shredding them up with my grater, my box grater here. I'm gonna go ahead and put them into a towel to really dry them out. Um, the more that I can dry them out, the easier they'll cook up on the grill. Um, it'll prevent sticking and it'll allow them to crisp up a lot more. So I'm just going to wrap those up in my towel here and give them a good squeeze. And then I'm actually going to wrap them up in another towel and give it another squeeze again, just to try to get as much moisture out of it as possible. Next, I'm measuring out the shredded potato, four cups of shredded potato. I'm going to go ahead and put that into my bowl. I'm adding smoked paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of ground pepper over the top as well. I'm going to give it a good mix, mix it really thoroughly so that the potatoes are evenly coated with all of the spices. And it'll look something like this. <laughs> smells so good. 
All right, my griddler's ready to go, so I'm going to place the hash browns onto the grill. Be careful when doing this because obviously the griddler is hot and it's possible to knock your knuckle or your hand on the top plate while you're trying to place the hash browns. It was a little more awkward for me because I was filming. It shouldn't be an issue for you, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. So I'm just going to lay them out sort of evenly as possible and then close the lid. I'm gonna let them cook for about 20 minutes. And in the last five minutes or so, I'm going to put my broccoli into the microwave. I wanted to show you how truly non-stick this is. So I'm just sliding my spatula here underneath the hash brown so you can really see. It doesn't take much to just lift them right off the grill, nice and easy. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them in half. I'm gonna eat half and then the other half, Chris and Riordan are going to share. There's my lovely plate. Good morning. I'm going to enjoy my broccoli and hash browns for breakfast. Super excited for this meal. I know it's going to be super delicious, but I'll dig in here it's, anyway. It's going to be very yummy. It's going to be very yummy. With the hash browns and the broccoli, I think that would be quite yummy. Mm -hmm. A very delicious combination. Mmm. This food makes me happy. So yummy. Pretty simple to put together. Didn't take very long for the hash browns to cook up in the griddler. And as you saw, the griddler is completely nonstick. No oil required. Love that thing so much. So let me know if you give this a go. I also have my water here. And I also have a cup of coffee, courtesy of Chris. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy that and dig into the rest of this, very exciting. Originally I was a little upset this morning, not upset. I was feeling a little disappointed just because usually I'm used to making waffles or pancakes on the weekend, um, on one of the weekend days in the morning. And I was like, oh, that doesn't fit into my Mary's Mini. But I figured I'd make these delicious hash browns and now I'm super jazzed about this and I'm not really missing the waffles or pancakes and I know that this challenge is only seven days and after the seven days I can eat all the whole food plant-based deliciousness that I love and enjoy and I can get back to my more fruit and beans and whole grains and all that other good stuff and for now I'm gonna enjoy this so I'll be back when it's snack time or lunch time see you in a bit as I mentioned earlier, I thought I would share Chris's plate, my husband, and also Riordan's plate, my son. So this is Chris's plate with refried beans. And this is Riordan's plate with refried beans. So they're eating the same thing as me, but adding refried beans and just serving it up in slightly different ways according to their preference. For lunch, I decided to eat up some yummy leftovers that I have for my batch cooking video. Check it out if you haven't already or if you want to refer back to it for the recipes. I'm eating mashed potatoes with spinach and some yummy roasted veggies with Italian seasoning and nooch. Super delicious. All right, it's lunchtime and I'm really excited to dig into my leftovers from my batch cooking video. If you haven't already checked out my batch cooking video for the Mary's Mini, I will link it up here so you can check it out. But I'm going to dig into this and enjoy. Oh, I've already eaten this a bunch of times with the challenge and so good. <laughs> That was a really big bite of cauliflower and the instant pot is beeping in the background, but that's okay. We shall carry on. Mashed potatoes with spinach. Mm. Mm. One of my favorite things. All right, I'm gonna dig in, finish the rest of this and I'll be back for snack time or dinner. See you in a while. I'm gonna go ahead and make this really simple curry. I have adapted my original mishmash meal, my lazy vegan curry, to make it Mary's Mini appropriate. I'm using pre-cooked potatoes to make it that much faster. 
I'm starting with a can of diced tomatoes. along with some spices. So in this little bowl, I have one tablespoon of curry powder, a teaspoon each of onion and garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of coriander. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up and let the flavors mix together and combine and break the tomato down a little bit. All right, that smells really delicious, and I'm sure as it continues to cook up, it'll take, smell even better. So I'm just gonna cover that and let it sit for about five minutes or so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little stir. I'm going to go ahead and add the last couple of ingredients. One is two cups of steamed potatoes that I have chopped up. So I had the steamed potatoes pre-cooked in my fridge, so I'm going to add that in. And I'm also going to add two cups of kale. I'll give that a stir, just let it cook for another maybe three to five minutes just until the kale is um, incorporated and the potatoes are incorporated and everything will be lovely. I'm going to uh, prepare my cauliflower rice at the same time in the microwave as well and it'll be good to go. You can of course jazz this up with other vegetables and really make it your own. You could start with onion or garlic and add any vegetables that you enjoy. I just wanted to keep it really, really simple tonight for dinner. So here we go. Chris and Riordan are also enjoying the potato curry, but they're also having quinoa and beans as well as some whole wheat pita with theirs all right lazy vegan curry time with potatoes yum potatoes with curry i think is going to be yummy mm. it's very yummy this is super simple you can jazz it up however you like add more spice to your desired spice level of enjoyment I would probably add a little more spice next time, but this is real, still really delicious. And I really like the combination with the cauliflower and the kale. Really, really good, really yummy. So I'm going to enjoy my curry and I will be back for snack time later. I haven't had my piece of fruit yet, so yay! I'm gonna eat some fruit for my Mary's Mini. All right, I'll see you guys in a little while. That'll be the worst thing to not have many, many fruits, just one fruit, like, Worst to not have as many fruits and not have bread, <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> Why do people even do the mini mini challenge if they if they won't have bread or or fruit? Like really? <laughs> like you only have one piece of fruit, that's the worst. <laughs> this is for fun. It's a fun challenge for a few days. Yep. No, not for you. Not for you. Just for mama. <laughs> for dessert, I decided to pull out my Celestial Seasonings herbal tea mix, and I'm going to have a cup of peach passion tea, super delicious, with some blueberries and raspberries. Chris and I are going to hang out and watch some TV. We've started re-watching Seinfeld recently, which is really funny to watch at any time, but particularly in 2021, it is interesting to watch a show from back in the day and how a lot of their issues would be really easily resolved with cell phones and with technology so it's really fun let me know what your favorite shows have been to watch lately i'd love to hear your recommendations 
Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and for watching through until the end. I really appreciate it. I hope that you found this video helpful and that it gave you some nice meal ideas, some new recipes, things that you can play with and tweak and make your own and jazz up in your own way. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to have a chat with you in the comment section and or keep your question for a future video. I am planning on doing more live streams coming up, so stay tuned for that. I'll leave my previous live stream video linked here in case you haven't seen it yet or you'd like to watch again. It was really fun to hang out with you guys and chat. I'll also leave my one year anniversary live stream video either up in the cards or and or in the description box below so you can check that one out as well. That one I did with filmed with Chris so that was really fun too. Thanks again for watching and supporting the channel. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Bye.